Hello, I'm Joe from Apex Bay. Today I'm very excited to introduce to all of you a very beautiful and talented girl. It's gonna be a great talk with this special guest for sure. But firstly, let's take a look at some information and find out who that might be.
me some information about that program. Oh yes, launched in 2013, Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative, in short, YCP, is the U.S. government's program as well as President Barack Obama Initiative to strengthen the leadership development and networking in Southeast Asia. My program is for YCP academic program. This is one of the two most reputable programs for YCD besides the YCD professional program for graduate student and workers. The fellowship brings undergraduate students to the United States of America for a five-week institute held on the campus of the U.S. College of University. So I was chosen to study environmental issues at this West Center University of Hawaii in Hawaii and visited other four cities, including Washington, D.C. Wow, what an amazing program. I'm extremely curious about your journey to that program. Please share with us. Oh yeah, back to the dream of traveling abroad when I was still a high school student, many of my friends decided to study abroad. And it, I just kept wondering why the other city attracted them so bad. So I started to find some scholarship or extreme programs to in hope of finding a chance to see the world. And that brought me to YCD, I believe it's a destiny. I've known it since 2013 and I just kept watching these activities until the day I learned to myself to I learned my equal my courage to apply for it. So when there comes an announcement for the fellowship, the U.S. embassies will post uh, the information on their website, including the information for the fellowships you need to submit. So you just follow their step, and if you pass the first round, you will be offered an interview for that. Right. So during that journey, I school, there are a lot of unforgettable memories. Mm -hmm. Okay, please share with us the one that you remember well. Yeah, definitely there are a lot of beautiful memories back then, but I suppose one of the most unforgettable memories to be the day that I visited the U.S. Department of State in Washington, D.C., where I had a chance to meet the officer from the Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs to share what I learned in the U.S. and my dream and also my ambition to have my community back home. So. Um, you know, I had never thought that I would have a voice in the U.S. government and it was just like awesome when how awesome um, the Vietnamese people, a uh, uh, small Vietnamese girl can stand in front of the government and talk about the dream and how strongly she loved the peace. Awesome, okay. So I know that you are the vice president of your English club mm -hmm. in university. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if there are any difficulties. Oh yeah. At first, it was really hard to balance between the time for the club and the time for studying. But later on, I find it's really helpful when it has me uh, to improve my soft skill especially the management skills and um, the time for with the members in the English club uh, have never been better because um, we are so immersed in interesting activities as well as we have time to relax ourselves after school. So I always try to inspire the other members about the importance of English and also set my experiences. And I also try to keep the connection with English institutes such as Amos to host some uh, small competitions at my university and have them study English. Right. Oh, okay. As the role of um, vice president of an English club, mm -hmm. as well as a successful English learner, mm -hmm. do you have any advice to people who really want to improve their English skills? I believe um, English is the key for success in this century of globalization and you can get it if you really want it. So studying hard and choosing a good way to study English, I believe you all can become good English speakers. Thank you. Okay, thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.